Hey guys, Zero here. Today I'm playing Choose Your Own Nightmare, The Evil Pen Pal. Now normally I play these games around Halloween, but this is a request from Dignified Love, and I didn't want to wait another three months before doing this. The original request was for The Evil Pen Pal, as well as How I Became a Freak, which is another Choose Your Own Nightmare game. I was only able to find this one on Amazon when I looked though, at least for the PC versions. I believe I also saw the other game on there, but it was the DVD version only, and I didn't want to deal with the same hassles I did for The Curse of the Mummy, so I went with this one. Now before I start with the actual game, I want to show you guys a short video that's included with this, just because it's pretty ridiculous and kind of amusing, I guess. show you what to do to control your movie. Here's where you make selections to choose what you view. With multi-path directions, the choice is up to you. It's like a freaking mutant cousin of the WB Frog. Just follow the instructions, they'll tell you what to do. They're right here on the screen, I'll help guide you through. Maybe that dancing frog, the hello my baby, hello my honey one. Your controls. You click this over here. Move your mouse to the left to make them reappear. Press the info button if you want to find out more. But now let me go, please. There's more for you in store. And look at that. The last thing you can see are his teeth. What is he, the freaking Cheshire Cat? Jeez. Anyways, I, th I just thought that that was kind of amusing. <laughs> Pretty silly. But anyways, um, alright, so we're ready to actually start with the actual game now. Now the thing that I noticed right away when I first started playing this was that this intro here is actually different from the other ones. Um, so I think that this one is older. I'm not exactly sure. But I guess that's just because the other ones are more Halloween themed, that kind of thing. This this one isn't really like the same kind of game. I mean, the other ones are about werewolves and Halloween. This one's just the evil pen pal, so I guess that's why it, it fits better. I still like the other intro better. I think it's, you know, I like it much more creepy. But see, look, look at the, look at this neighborhood, look at the graphics, they just, they feel older. You can see there on the wall there, that's a poster for How I Became a Freak, the other game. Yes, come on, we can do it. Yes, alright? Yes, 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 no, no, no! Oh, come on, man. You got it! You have new email. You also suck at aiming. Cool! Hi, it's me, Billy. How are you? I am good. Say it like you mean it, Sparky. I will be in town this weekend. I would like to stay at your place. Would that be cool? We could have lots of fun. So let me know, can I stay or what? Get back to me tonight, and I can be over by tomorrow morning. I'm afraid hmm. I can't do that, Dave. Mom! Mom! Mom, get in here! Sam, what is it? Billy just sent me an email. He's gonna be in town this weekend. Can he come and stay? Can he please? No. Please? No! Please? God damn it, no! Well, I don't see why not. Is he one of your cyber pen pals? Yep. I used to have a pen pal. Her name was Helen. Nobody cares. This was before computers, so we wrote letters on paper. That's a lie. We were the closest of friends. There was nothing before I email. I wonder what happened to her. So how about it, Mom? Didn't I already say yes? Not exactly. Yes. Woohoo! Yes! Wow, she's but grumpy. But if you don't behave, there'll be trouble. Thanks, Mom. That's okay. Just be good. I'll see you in the parking lot after the match. You have new email. I'm a popular boy. No, you're not. Don't let Billy into your house. He's a monster. He has killed before, and he will kill again. Awesome. Please. Don't let him into your house. Sounds like my kind of guy. Oh, oh no, my data! <laughs> Get off the computer, you little nerd! <laughs> this guy's such a jerk. I would take that cord and wrap it around his neck and strangle him to death. Mike's always bugging me. I really want to teach that guy a lesson. Then again, I want to have another look at that email. No, fuck the email. I'm gonna jump his ass, literally. You're dead, butt munch! <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, oh, I like being on top. What's all this about? What? 
Who started this? It was Mike. He unplugged my computer, Mom, for no reason at all. That's such a lie, Mom. I was just walking along when this little savage attacked me with grievous intent. I think he might need help, Mom. I think he's hearing voices. I'm not hearing dead voices. People. He's deaf, Mom. We should put him in the home. Mike, go to your room. You're giving me a migraine. Oh, sure, take his side again. Go fall in a hole. As for you, Sam, I thought I told you to behave. I told you about fighting with your brother before. But... No buts. You're going to be punished for this. You can either give up TV for a month, or give up Billy coming for the weekend. What? No, Mom! This is terrible! This is bullshit! Really? Oh, a month? Parents can be so cruel. That's such bullshit, a whole month without TV. I guess I'll go without TV, then. That includes videos, too. Mom, this is truly cruel and unusual parenting. I feel empty on the inside. Now, you just go upstairs and think about what you've done. Oh, man. I think it's funny the way he's talking there. He doesn't sound like a kid at all. And I couldn't go without uh, videos for a month or internet or TV like that. i go crazy. Oh, yeah, he just sleeps in his regular clothes. Then again, so do I. No, for real, though, because, like, I don't even give a shit. I don't have sleepwear. I just wear what I'm wearing. <laughs> oh, shit! He's here! Quick, hide your porn! Wait, what? All right. I finally get to meet Billy. I hope he's cool. Yeah, he looks real cool. Hey, everyone! Billy's here! Ugh. Nice try, moron! Dude, I'm trying to break Why my neck falling down the stairs. Sam. Oh shit, it's a kid sound encyclopedias! We don't want any! Hi, I'm Billy. I'm your cyber pen pal. Pleased to meet you. We're gonna have a swell time. Oh, we are. Hi, I'm Sam. Good to see you. Hello, Billy. Please come in. Yeah, please come in and- Whoa, what's up with that face? Come up and see my room and stuff. Sure. Great. Hmm. Strange looking boy, that Billy. You're being old fashioned. They all look like that in Delaware. He comes from Delaware? Apparently. Wow, they're making fun of Delaware. So, uh, what cool stuff have you got? Like what? What kind of stuff are you into? I don't know. Stuff that's cool. You got any guns? I got my computer. <sighs> yeah, that's really cool. Who are you, Sam's girlfriend? Who are you, the village idiot? What the? Heh, <laughs> look at a smug look. Oh, listen, you stinky little bag of butt. You better keep your spooky looking friend here on a leash if you know it's good for him. And you. <laughs> you shouldn't let him push you around like that. Yeah, well, you know, he's my brother. Doesn't matter. He should uh, be taught a lesson. Yeah. He should learn some respect. Yeah, I like where you're going. This is with a this. socially awkward woman. Gotta think of something to talk about. Maybe I should ask about that wacky looking book. Or that big old suitcase he's carrying. Maybe you should stop talking to yourself, you weirdo. He does that a lot. So, Billy, what's in the suitcase? A bomb? I don't think you want to see what's in there, buddy. Dead body? Oh, come on, show me. I don't know. It's pretty intense. You think you can? Handle it. Uh, I think I can. I want the Get truth. Get ready for a new world. You can't handle the truth. Oh my God, it's dirty <laughs> underwear. <laughs> oh man, you should have seen your face. What you think I had in there? A ninja midget? <laughs> that would have been cool. <sighs> yeah, well, maybe. He looks bored again. How short is this guy's attention span? Maybe I should ask him about that book. Or maybe see if he wants to uh, go play some ball. Or maybe you should stop talking to yourself. No, seriously. So what's that book you've got? It's called Mind Control. A study of practical everyday telepathy and telekinetics. Boring. It's all about harnessing the power we have up here. It describes the way we all could command so much more power so much more energy if we stop trying to develop things like nuclear fusion and tried to mine the plutonium inside our own heads. Who, plutonium? Uh-oh. This is starting to sound educational. Can I use that to go back in time? Should I just keep going with it for a while? Or should I change the topic? Sound interesting, Sammy? What do you say? 
What do you think, man? Cool. That sounds cool, I guess. Oh, it is, Sam. It really is. There's a new generation born. Our generation. We have more powers than all the previous generations put together. Like the X-Men? We're becoming more and more aware of what we really have floating around in our skulls. With a little training, a little help, this generation will have the ability to manipulate matter by simply exercising their mental desires. Sounds like the X-Files. Totally. Until now, it was reduced to TV fantasy. But not anymore. It's a new world order, Sam. And you should be part of it. What do you mean? I could teach you, Sammy. I could teach you the ways of the mind. You'd like it. You really would. Oh, yeah. Everybody else is going to be doing it. So come on. Let me show you. What do you say? All the cool kids are going to be doing know. it, man. It could be fun. But then again... Something about the way Billy's talking is kind of weird. Don't be such a downer, man. All the cool kids are going to do it. Uh, what about we just go outside and play baseball? I love baseball. <laughs> yeah, maybe then we could wear pretty dresses and play with dolls. Ooh, I get Barbie. <laughs> Lamers. I guess we could just go outside then. Be sitting here listening to my brain corrode. You can be Ken. God, this neighborhood sucks. You live in a shithole. This is such a dump of a neighborhood. Exactly. It's okay. Nah, I hate the suburbs. They're so small, narrow-minded. Whatever. Play catch, little girls. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, Mike. You really shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't make oh, me I'm angry. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have told you to duck. <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's so, so horrible. Oh, 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 man. Oh, and this is why you don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Should I tell Billy to stop? Or maybe just watch this for a while? Dude, keep oh. watching. It's better than television, which you can't watch for a whole month now. No, 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 please. Don't, don't make me fall. I can't. Oh, 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 oh,
So I'm going to cut this video here and in the next one I'm going to go back a bit to one of the earlier decision points and we'll pick the others so that we can actually see one of the good endings. So I'll see you then.